Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. In today's episode, we're going to be uh, showing you guys all of the new Bucky O'Hare stuff I bought because this year I was going to go for a full set of loose Bucky O'Hare figures. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to complete that line. So I already had a couple set up in my glass case, but what is the way to kind of like start this? How do you approach completing a toy line? Well, the way I try to do it and the way it usually starts for me most times is I find a big lot over at a flea market. I'm like interested in the toys and then I just want to get all of them. So with COVID and everything, I had to resource to, uh, you know, offer ups and all that kind of stuff. So, I went on there, I was looking around for roughly two weeks, found a lot that I thought was okay price-wise, and uh, yeah, today we're going to show you all that. It's, it's, right, it's right down there. So, that's the big lot we got. I'm going to unpack it, check out everything that's in there, and you know, um, just, uh, just talk about what I look in for a lot to start off my collection with, because, well... Let's see how we can fill up this glass cabinet with a complete run of Bucky O'Hare toys. So as a kid, I didn't have any Bucky O'Hare stuff. Uh, it wasn't something I knew about, actually. Um, but I probably played with it when I was, you know, over at our kids' houses. Um, these toys would get thrown in with, you know, Ninja Turtles so often. Funny enough, Bucky O'Hare actually was a concept that was created in the late 70s uh, when, you know, the space thing was booming um, it did take up until like mid 80s to kind of uh, turn the concept into a comic book which was released kind of like turtles and then you know 91 92 rolls around and all of a sudden turtles is selling like crazy and you have a green space bunny so I mean it's not too far from a turtle let's you know just pop a toy line on there unfortunately the toy line didn't do too well and I'm just assuming that the toy line didn't do too well because it, it only got one cartoon season an arcade game and uh, and, and one wave of toys. There was already a second wave announced with more vehicles and stuff like that, but those never got produced. But today, uh, we're, we're trying to figure out <laughs> what I need to complete this set. I know it's two vehicles and something like eight or ten toys in there. So, let's take a look inside this box. Um, all of this stuff I got for roughly 90 euros, including shipping. Um, what do I look for is just lots of figures and accessories. I'm always checking, like, does this lot have accessories? Does it have stuff that I really need? Because um, I already had a couple figures, but I didn't really have a lot of accessories. And what you probably need to do first is check out what are, like, the holy grails within the toy line you want to start collecting. Like, if I was going for Dick Tracy, of course, the blank would be the figure that you're always going to be looking out for and you know if you get lucky you might find one. Bucky O'Hare doesn't really have that one really um, that, that one really uh, holy grail figure but um, I, I guess like accessory wise it would be the, the kid character. He has like glasses which you're always missing. I don't think he's in this lot, though. We did get some. Uh, we did get some stuff. So um, let's turn around uh, the camera and check out everyone in here. So there were eight figures in total in here, and we got one vehicle. The Toad Kroger, uh -huh. which is the vehicle that uh, Dead Eye Duck um, floats around in space in, and uh, yeah totally love it um, so this thing is cool um, it's got most stickers I guess on there although I'm not too sure um, I'm not sure if this hole is supposed to have like an accessory because over here on the belly this thing actually functions as like something that sucks in the air as well let's croak toads that's awesome I think I still need four more figures and there's another vehicle that I definitely want to be adding to this and then from there I will probably 
started upgrading it to boxed vehicles and uh, you know trying to find merchandise because I do have the video game but there's lots more merchandise that came out for this toy line that only lasted a year Bucky O'Hare and the Toad War. so definitely a good stack of toys right here over here we have Dead Eye Duck which is one of my favorite characters in this series he did come with four of the purple variations of the weapons the one eye patch on there he he's like the the driver for the tote croaker and uh yeah four arms love uh, the color scheme on this guy then we have buggy o'hare himself who doesn't seem to have like the correct weapon with him but it's all good. Uh, I think this is Commander Darkstar's weapon. Um, teeth are a bit uh, chipped over here. But uh, overall, he's in okay shape. So I'm uh, not sure what I'm going to be doing with this double. Stuff like the Owl Negator over here is uh, something I, I can like easy, easily army build. I also just love the colors on this guy got that that oozy green with that purple and uh, a bit of gold goldish armor uh, also next to it so uh, yeah comes with his weapon I already have one but it's without the weapon but uh, yeah I guess I need one more I can I can call it an army because we have more than two it's it's an army <laughs> what, what is this guy called again this is the toad air marshal with rifle and that is one big ass rifle he's got over here, guys. And removable hat. Because why not? He, he does look a lot more badass. And uh, the sculpt of the face works way better with the hat if it's on. It, it, it brings more more charm to this character. But look at that gun. It's it's huge. I think it's, <laughs> it's almost as big as this figure. Here we go. Look at that. He's... <laughs> If it weren't for the hat, he'd be just as tall as the gun. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is one heavy gun. And, uh, I really gotta, gotta bump it in there. So yeah, that's the Toad Marshal. Mine actually fell down and he's broken over here. So it's good to have a new one and this one is complete. Then we have the Toad Borg. Not with any weapons uh, or anything but yeah he, he kind of reminds me of like a stormtrooper or at least something like that uh looking looking really cool uh weird stuff going on with the legs over here like how am i supposed to put oh okay i guess like that he can, he can probably make get a steady pose okay because if you pop him like that it's like oh where where is this guy supposed to go uh, so this moves and yeah I guess he, he needs some guns, so I'm uh, gonna definitely have to be on the lookout for accessories or even more of these because I can army build these once again. Then we have, what is this guy called again? Commander Darkstar with two pistols? Ooh, I can actually just grab the one that came with the Bucky and add him in here. And now he is a complete character. I kind of like the sculpt, uh, he's, you know, just a badass dog. Got like the little glasses on there for that space traveling action. I'm not too like into this character, but you know, he, he, he's part of the line, so needed to have him. Then we have AFC Blinky, I hope I'm saying that one right. I, I see this guy a lot, actually. Um, I see him out uh, when, I, when I go hunting for stuff, um, and uh, he's supposed to come with a gun, but doesn't have it, and his backpack. So, usually when I see him, he doesn't have a gun, but he also doesn't have the backpack. But the backpack kind of makes him look cool. Uh, kind of reminds me of, like, Fugitoid from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this guy, but he needs a gun, so... Yeah, that's going to be on the hunting list as well. And then, finally, we have Bruiser, the Berserker Baboon. He's like the tough guy, the B.A. Baracus of this this uh, bunny, this green bunny team of uh, Bucky O'Hare's that we got. This one has been played with a lot. Look at all that uh, 
all the scratch marks, but he does have his gun. It seems to be like a color variant. Maybe this one is European. He's supposed to come with like a um, a silver or a, a grayish uh, accessory gun. So yeah, he's got like the, the, the pierced nose ring going over to his ear. <laughs> it's kind of eerie. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if it's like discoloration, but he does seem to like have a really big, uh, maybe it's it's supposed to be like kind of like a gradient of yellow going over the reddish that he has. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, this, this one um, in the Boss Fight Studios remake they did of the toy line is, is huge apparently. And uh, like over here as well, like if, if you pop him next to Bucky, he's like giant. <laughs> like... What are you doing here, bunny? So these were all the figures. I already showed you that uh, Tote Croaker. So now we're going to pop it all into the glass shelf. And yeah, it goes like this from the before to the... And here we have the after. So this is what the shelf looks like right now. Pop that uh, Tote Croaker with that Eye Duck and Commander Dockstar over there. So this Toad Kroger can really croak some toads. Got the starts of a negator, of the Al Negator army over here uh, with Berserker, Blinky, Bucky O'Hare. Yeah, they're all here. Over there just have, you know, the ones uh, I have doubles of. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out some stuff. Like, I don't know where he got this weapon from. Kind of like knife thing i don't know is this bucky o'hare or not leave it down in the comments below guys i already know like if i have a second vehicle it's not gonna fit in here but yeah this is this is already you know shaping up to be a cool collection i really like these action figures and yeah as always guys thanks so much for watching i want to thank alex especially for joining the patreon uh put out a exclusive video on there in January so uh, if you want to join the patreon you can obviously always check out what we have to offer over there if you like watching videos about 80s and 90s toys just subscribe because it's free and I put them out weekly and yeah leave a like on the video leave a comment down below which toy line you would like to start collecting this year and you want the full run of uh, leave that down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Bye.